hi guys welcome back to prospect channel tv thank you for always coming out here may god bless you all agf abubaka malami has reviewed plans of the federal government of nigeria concerning mazanam the canoe's trial this year 2023 my people this one will shock you record that the appeal court upwards ruling acquitting discharging ipop leader mazanam the canoe Chief Mike Ozeko Mansan, one of the lawyers representing the, the IPOB leader, said the court upheld, up, upheld his ruling on of October 13th, which set Namdi Kanu free. And this have got so many people talking. And now, the Nigerian government have shown that uh, they do not want to release him. AGF Abubakar Malami reviewed this to newsmen in Abuja. When he was asked about the federal government plans concerning Mazen Namdekanu's trial this year, he said, the, the federal government of Nigeria is focusing on the 2023 general elections, which is coming up next month, February 2023. That is all I have to say concerning this. Hmm. In fact, Nigerians just a talk here left, uh, left, right, and center. You see, you don't, you don't even need anybody to tell you that uh, they are running away from this case. Yes, but this is unfair. They are running away from this case. The same happy court who discharged Mazen Namdekano, the same happy court upholds the ruling acquitting and discharging the IPOB leader. Because AGF Abubakar Malami do not want him to go. Now they are not they are telling us now that Mazen Amdekano will continue, you know, to 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 be detained in DSS custody. So there is no plan. You see, this is the reason why they they, they abandon their their appeal, uh, the stay of um, the stay of execution order, whatever, in uh, in Supreme Court. This is the reason why they abandoned it. They know they have no case against this man. But what they are just doing is just to humiliate him. Yes, this is what they call intimidation, oppression in the highest order. A man that has been discharged, you said he should not go. And at the same time, you don't want to fix a date for the trial again and all that. You just want him to be there. So may they just forget him for there. So when I don't see him, so... They want another president to come up with this case. But this is really very wrong. One thing is, is sure, no one runs. You cannot run away from your shadow. Because even as they work out, they go. If they pursue you, they go. That is, the exact, that is exactly what is going to happen to this uh, uh, government led by President Muhammad Buhari. To them, they are running away from this case. But as they go... It is. It will still follow them. Okay, let's go back to uh, the appeal court's judgment that discharged Mazen and the Kano, and at the same time uphold the judgment. The appeal court in Abuja, Nigeria's capital, upheld the judgment acquitting and discharging the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kano. Chief Mike Ozeko Mersan, one of the lawyers representing the IPOB leader said the court upheld his ruling of October 13, which set Namdekanu free. The Nigerian government had sought a stay of execution on the ruling of the Court of Appeal acquitting and discharging Kanu. The appeal court earlier set Kanu free and acquitted him of the charges of terrorism and treasonable felony against him. But the Nigerian government approached the appeal court asking it to stay the execution of the judgment of October 13, which voided the extraordinary rendition of Kano from Kenya to Nigeria. A three-man panel of justice held that such extraordinary rendition without hindrance to due process of the law was a gross violation of all international conventions, treaties, protocols, and guidelines that Nigeria is a signatory to as well as the, the, the branch of the Appellate Fundamental Human Rights. The Appellate Court further held that the government failed to refute the allegation that 
the IPOP leader was in Kenya and that he was adopted and brought back to the country without any extradition processes. On that ground, the appellate court held that the government was silent on the issue, which is described as very privata in determining whether the trial court would still have the jurisdiction to continue with the criminal proceeding before it. The appellate court judges held that the Nigerian government's action tainted the entire process proceeding proceeding it initiated proceeding initiated against Scano and amounted to an abuse of criminal prosecution in general. So the three man judge therefore held us the court will never shine away from calling the executive to order when it tends towards executive recklessness. It accuses the Nigerian government of engaging in serious abuse of power. But the Nigerian government, in a note, a notice of appeal filed before the APIS court, focused on seven grounds. One, the Supreme Court to stay the execution of the appellate court judgment. The government, other things, contains that the appellate court's panel held in law and the and occasion a miscarriage of justice when it relied on the manner by which Kano was renditioned from Kenya to Nigeria after a jump bill in 2017 to quash the charges against him. So for this now, Nigerian government said Mazinam the Kano, you know, cannot be free from the DSS detention. Now, Abubakar Malami is now telling, telling Nigerians that the uh, Nigerian government is focusing on the 2023 general elections, which is coming up next month, February. So for that reason, Mazinam the Kano case is not going to be touched again. So what else? They want to run away from their own court. I'm dropping it there. Can you share your thoughts? below the comment section. Thank you for always coming out here. May God bless you all.